Hi guys, it's Mark Zickery, Mr. Sci-Fi, also known as Mark Zickery of the Twilight Zone Companion. But actually, this isn't me. This is me. And that was my mirror image. And the reason we're talking about that is because today we're talking about the Twilight Zone episode, Mirror Image. So, <laughs> imagine that you are Rod Serling and you're in a train station and you look over and you see someone with their back turned toward you and they're wearing the exact same outfit and they're holding the exact same briefcase and they're the exact same size as you and you think, oh my God, what if they turn around and it's me? Well, Rod Sterling recounted this and he said, in point of fact, the person turned around and he was a good deal more handsome than I am, but uh, gave me the idea for a story where someone encounters their physical duplicate. Now, Twilight Zone was often dealing with stories of um, alienation, modern alienation, particularly alienation in an urban setting. And Rod talked about the greatest fear of all being the fear of the unknown working on you, which you cannot share with others. Now, that was a paraphrase of uh, H.P. Lovecraft's uh, statement that the greatest fear of all was the fear of the unknown working on you. But Serling added, which you cannot share with others, which is the ultimate isolation, the ultimate alienation. So it was, so he wrote the episode, Mirror Image, and John Brown, John Brom, who had done uh, uh, Time Enough at Last and many other Twilight Zone episodes to come, would direct this, and it stars Vera Miles, who around the same time was shooting uh, Psycho, where she played uh, the sister of, uh, of Janet Lee, and uh, she's wonderful in this. She's very good at, at a woman waiting in, in a station where she starts to see a duplicate of herself that she's worried is gonna take over her life and supplant her. And Martin Milner is also in this. He would be uh, well known for two TV shows, Route 66, where he started with George uh, Maharis and uh, Adam 12, which was a cop show about two uh, LA cops driving around. And uh, it's a wonderful paranoid fantasy. I mean, this is uh, Rod Sterling. We've talked about how Rod was writing about the different tropes of science fiction, uh, alien invasion and uh, space travel, time travel, etc. Well, here he's dealing with the notion of parallel dimensions and parallel Earths. And this is a wonderful, wonderful episode. It's very paranoid, very creepy, very fun, has a simple bag of visual effect tricks, uh, but they're, they're used really, really wonderfully. John Brahm was an old uh, German guy. He was a director. He had come up through the golden age of Hollywood. He directed the movie The Lodger. And uh, he was just uh, one of these very, very, very solid directors. He did not consider himself an artiste by any means. He was a, a, a worker, just like a carpenter would be. And he was a, a really good director for Twilight Zone. So uh, if you've never seen this episode, see it. If you are, uh, you know, used to uh, there being just one of you, <laughs> it may give you nightmares. And meantime, if you want to see more Twilight Zone content, I'm posting these Twilight Zone minutes every day on Mr. Sci-Fi, so subscribe to Mr. Sci-Fi. And also, um, when you have a chance, uh, check out twilightzonecommentaries.com because I'm going to be doing over 100 Twilight Zone episode commentaries. They're very low cost. They're very cool. Uh, you can be part of it. This is the only place where you can get them. If you are a Twilight Zone fan, your life will not be complete unless you have these wonderful commentaries, twilightzonecommentaries.com. So from me and my doppelganger, we wish you a happy day, a happy Twilight Zone, and we will see you next time. Bye, guys. Do 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 do